Uh, so I really, really enjoyed today. I came for the Young Leaders Development Program, the executive training session, and I really learned a lot. I learned about perseverance and commitment to something that you're passionate and you believe in, and I really got a lot of skills and I got a lot of knowledge from this uh, session that if you're passionate about something, you have to persevere, you have to carry through with it, and I learned the important qualities in order, that you need in order to be a good leader and to lead other people and to um, create a foundation that you want to carry through or create a an uh, organization or something that you're passionate about that will benefit others and leaving a legacy behind. But in reality, she was then able to find another route to the same goal. So she was flexible about her odds to achieve. Much compared to the other people that had better odds than her in the competition, but she persevered against all the odds and she saw an opportunity and she decided to take it. You're interested in history. Can you explain to me why that is? What do you find so fascinating about that? So I'm interested in history ever since I was a little kid. Uh, my grand grandparents would tell me stories of how it used to be. I love finding out how it was and how it is not now, how we've developed and learning from our mistakes. Resistance and it was, Mr. Miller said that um, if you look for cooperation, you'll find it. If you look for resistance, you'll find it. So as a leader, you kind of have to decide what you're looking, what you want to see in your team, and if you want to look at the negatives or if you want to look at the positives. And um, the take from that audio is very much about what we've been learning all day today, which is persevering and not giving up on something you believe in or something you're passionate about. So this is all to Europe because I've never been to Europe and I hear that it's very nice, the weather there is really good and there's a lot of culture there, there's a lot of art, there's a lot of architecture and I'd be really interested to see how that was influenced by periods such as the Renaissance period and those kind of periods that were very major in Europe mostly. We to ensure that our wild is working positively and is making progress. Try to build a bridge but it collapsed because there was no leader. It did not have support. There was no structure, so it fell apart. Which is why we then decided to create a tree of life. There we go. This tree represents all of us together working to create something beautiful, which will continue to produce great ideas and will continue to sustain the YLDP. <laughs> Uh, so I just talked about what I learned and everything. Yeah, okay, so hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I am in year 11 and I am the vice president of the Wild DP Club in DIA and from these two days I learned a lot about teamwork and about motivation and starting a business in a successful way and I think one of the things that stuck with me the most was the determination or motivation factor of the reason of deciding why you should why you are starting a business and what you will gain from it and having that passion that you need to create a successful business. I think that was just, that's something very important that you can carry with you to all aspects of life, that you shouldn't do anything if you don't have the motivation or the passion to do it. So yeah, I really enjoyed these past two days and I think everybody else did too. I think we all learned a lot and yeah, I look forward to this next year and I know that we're all going to have a really successful YLTP class. Thank you. <laughs>